here we are going to draw follow motion for a cycloidal motion so here given parameters are rise of the follower is 200 which is the angle of ascent and lift is 100 mm so here i am going to draw the rise of the follower using a cycloidal motion so the angle given is 200 and lift of the follower is 100 100 mm for cycloidal motion, we have to divide the section into 8 equal halves. Okay. So, 200 divided by 8, each section will be 25. So, I have already divided the section. So, 25. Now, I am going to give vertical lines for each section. So I, am, I have divided the whole section into 8 equal halves. Now start numbering 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and last one 8. Okay. So I am showing this by thin lines. Now for drawing the cycloidal motion, we have to construct a circle on the diagonal of this diagonal. So I am first drawing a diagonal. I am drawing a diagonal. This is for the right. So we have to draw the diagonal from the lower portion to the higher portion. Okay. I am extending this line. Okay. I have extended this line. This is the diagonal and I am showing it in dotted line. Okay. Now I am going to construct a circle on this diagonal. For drawing cycloidal motion, we have to construct a circle on this diagonal. Okay. And the condition for the circle is that this is a circle. This one is the diagonal line and this is a circle. The condition for circle is that circumference of the circle should be equal to lift of the follower. That means circumference, that is 2 pi r of the circle should be equal to lift of the follower, h. <coughs> so here, 2 pi r will be equal to h, we have taken as 100 mm. So r will be 100 divided by 2 pi. So you get the value 15.915. For 100, the radius will be 15.915. So I am going to construct a circle of radius 15.915 or diameter 31.83 so I am going to construct a circle you can construct the circle anywhere okay so I am constructing a circle here and diameter of the circle is 31.83 point eight three okay so this is the diameter of the circle 31.83 is the diameter so radius will be 15.915 okay now we have to divide this circle into eight equal halves so i am zooming into the circle okay so this is my circle so i am dividing it first using a horizontal line okay it, sh it should pass through the center of the circle so this is a diameter horizontal line which is the diameter of the circle now i am constructing a vertical line this should, this should also pass through the center of the circle. Okay. Now I am constructing a line. So each equal half means each section will be of 45 degrees. So I am constructing a line of angle 45 degree. Okay. So I am extending this line to the upper section. Okay. Now I am drawing the line on the other section. Okay. 
now any section you take any section it will be 45 degree okay you can take any section the angle will be 45 degree so i am taking a section here okay the angle will be 45 degree so i have divided the circle into eight equal section okay now start numbering from this point from this horizontal right side of the horizontal point start numbering okay so this will be uh, one minute so this will be 0 1 2 for rise of the follower the numbering should be in the clockwise direction so i am numbering it in the clockwise direction 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and last point 8 which comes along with 0 okay, 8 okay so starting from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 okay now join the points using a horizontal line 4 6 you have no uh, no need of a horizontal line join 5 and 7 using a horizontal line it will be horizontal okay 4 0 8 it is joined by a horizontal line okay 3 and 1 join using a horizontal line okay 2 we don't need a horizontal line okay so i am drawing this lines as thin lines okay. now this is our baseline okay from this line we have to construct parallel lines to the diagonal okay so from point 6 from the intersection of 5 7 from the intersection that is the center of the circle that is 4 0 8 from the intersection of point 3 and 1 and 2 you have to construct parallel line with the diagonal so i am first constructing a line from 6 okay i am constructing a line from point 6 parallel to the diagonal throughout the section so this icon you can see a icon parallel icon on on the cursor okay so i have constructed a line from point 6 parallel to the diagonal of the section okay i am marking this as dotted line with a pink color okay now secondly i am drawing a line from the intersection you have to draw all lines from the word from the from this vertical line okay I am drawing a line from the intersection of point 5 and 7. Okay, so this is the point. I am drawing a line from the intersection of point 5 and 7 and it should be parallel to the diagonal line. So you can see the parallel icon. Okay, once I zoom, you can see the parallel icon. Okay, so I have constructed a line. I am also giving this as a dotted line with a color blue okay so i have drawn two lines okay from the bottom from the bottom that is the intersection of 3 1 you don't don't need to draw a line from this intersection 4 0 8 because there is already a diagonal line so you need to draw a line from intersection of 4 0 and 8 now i am drawing a line from the intersection of 3 and 1 okay so i am drawing a line from the intersection of 3 and 1 it should be parallel to the diagonal you can see the parallel icon okay so i am giving this a orange color okay lastly you have to draw a line from point 2 okay so i am drawing a line from point 2 So this is the parallel, you can see the parallel icon, okay. Yeah, I am showing it in dotted and uh, naming it, uh, giving a color green, okay. So I have constructed five lines, okay. First line, the first line represent, uh, yeah, I will show you, first line, which is the pink one. This represent 0.6, okay. The blue line, 
which represent 0.5 and 7. Okay, the diagonal line that is a black one which represent 0 0.4, 0 and 8. Okay, the red orange one which represent 0 0.3 and 1 and the green one which represent 0 0.2. Now you have to mark the points corresponding to this line with the vertical. So the pink line, pink, pink line is for 6. So you have to point, mark the point with the intersection of vertical line. So this is the 6 vertical line. So this is this will be our point. Mark this point as 6 dash. Okay. I am marking this point as 6 dash. Okay. Now the blue line is for point 0.5 and 7. So check whether for the meeting point of the vertical line. So with the blue line. So this is our point 0.5 dash. So I am marking here as point 0.5 dash. And this will be our point 0.7 dash. This point will be our 7 dash. So I am marking the point 0.7 dash. Okay. this will be our point okay now for the black line which is the diagonal that is point four zero and eight so zero and eight is already eight will be here zero was already marked so eight dash will be here because this is the vertical line of eight this is the vertical line of eight eight dash will be at the end point four dash will be the middle this one this one will be 4 dash. So I am marking 4 dash here. Okay. Now the orange line. The orange line represents 0 0.3 and 1. Okay. So 1. So here it is 1. So I am marking this as. Sorry. Marking this as 1 dash. 1 dash and this represent 3 also so I am marking 3 so this will be our 3 dash point so I am marking this point as 3 dash and last one the green one represent 2 so I am giving this point as 2 dash ok so I have marked the point now I have to construct the curve so from 0 1 dash which represent the oval orange line 2 dash which represent the green line 3 dash again orange line 4 dash the black one okay. 5 dash the blue one 6 dash the pink one Seven dash the blue one again, eight dash the black one. So this will be our curve. So I'm making the thick line with the front. Okay. So this will be the curve for the rise of a follower using cycloidal motion. Okay. It is a bit difficult to draw. Okay. So the, you have to mark the point in the circle in this order in the clockwise direction 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8 the radius of the circle that is 2 pi r will be equal to lift of the follow circumference will be equal to lift of the follow from that you can find radius of the circle okay and what will we do for the return so i have drawn here for return you have to number i have numbered 0 1 2 3 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. For cycloidal motion, we need 8 division. Okay. For return, the circle numbering will be in the opposite direction. Starting 0, starting point will be C. It will be in the counterclockwise direction. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay. Last case, 1 was here, 2 was here. So, for return motion, you have to number it in the counterclockwise direction opposite that opposite to that of the right that is the only difference okay i have drawn the diagonal diagonal should be from the maximum to the minimum 
for return case. So I have drawn the diagonal from the maximum to the minimum. Then I have drawn the circle. I have divided the circle into eight equal halves and number in the counterclockwise direction. From each point I have drawn lines. You can see two is for the blue one. You can see the point two dash here. Okay. Orange will be for one and three. You can check here. Orange will be for one and three. Light blue will be for five and seven. You can check here. Five and seven. And green one is green one is for six. Okay. So for return, you have to draw the diagonal from the maximum position to the minimum number it in the counterclockwise direction. For right, you have to draw the diagonal from the minimum to the maximum and number the circle in the clockwise direction. That is the only difference. Okay. Thank you.